Welcome back to Learn with Amin. In the past few days, I have been receiving several questions on the statement of purpose, what should be the word limit and what should be the content. For Hamad bin Khalifa University application, I'll be talking about the statement of purpose in general and also for the Hamad bin Khalifa University application. So stay tuned and let's get started. First of all, you need to understand that statement of purpose is really crucial. I have received this question, is statement of purpose really important? Yes, it is really important. It can make or break your application. Even if you have a strong application, strong credentials or weak credentials, statement of purpose can be a deciding factor. It can make or break your application because this is where the university wants to understand your persona, your thought process and whether you really want to join Hamad bin Khalifa University and whether you are pa passionate about the program that you want to attend. So it is really important and uh, here I want to make sure that I inform you that statement of purpose cannot be plagiarized. You cannot copy a statement of purpose of your senior. You cannot copy the facts from Wikipedia or online because statement of purpose undergoes through the similarity check and the plagiarism check and university wants to know basically if you have written a personalized statement or not. Now let's take HBKU. If you are applying for two different programs, you cannot have a statement of purpose same for both the programs you need to personalize the statement of purpose even a little bit for the different programs you are applying for or you need to basically write a very general statement of purpose which i do not recommend i want you to write a statement of purpose showing your passion to the program that you are applying for so if you are applying for two different programs then you need to take your story life story career story and education story along with the program that you have applied for. So two different programs, two different statement of purpose is required. This is not just true for Hamad bin Khalifa University application, but for any university application. So um, at first I thought of showing the statement of purpose that I drafted and came up with and got admitted to Hamad bin Khalifa University. But from my previous videos and the documents that I have shared, I understood that all the prospective applicants, they try to mimic the document that I show and all the applicants reduce their chances of selection. So I'll be just explaining the gist of the statement of purpose so that you can come up with your own passionate text showing your interest towards the program that you are applying for in Hamad bin Khalifa University. Statement of purpose is limited by the number of words. In Hamad bin Khalifa University application, it asks you to submit a statement of purpose of around 300 to 500 words. For international university, usually the word limit is 1000 words, but some university also have this limit of 500 words. Now, uh, after my graduation, a uh, junior contacted me with the length of the statement of purpose and I recommended him to contact HBKU and HBKU pre-approved him to submit a statement of purpose of 1000 words and he submitted a 1000 word statement of purpose and got selected into the program he was intending for. So if you want to submit a longer statement of purpose, then you need to get a pre-approval from HBKU through email and only then you can submit a thousand word statement of purpose. If the length of uh, statement of purpose is long, then you can explain your life story better. But I have seen some effective statement of purposes with 500 words as well. So try to stick to the word limit or get a pre-approval from HBKU on the length of statement of purpose. So when you start the statement of purpose, add a quote regarding education and how that education will change the life of a person. So just come up with a quote 
add that quote and then explain a starting statement basically what you are doing in your life currently maybe you are working somewhere explain that that you are currently working as a data scientist for the past so and so years in this company and uh, how while working there you realized that you want to go for higher education so let me take an example of masters in data science and engineering so you can basically explain how the work in data science or as a data scientist instilled interest in you to specialize in the education of data science and that's why you want to apply for masters you can come up with an opening statement regarding this then you can explain your perspective of the world and how education is really important in the world and how it can attain the professional objectives that you have the goals of career that you have set for yourself so you need to explain that and how the post graduation master study or phd study is really important for that first you have explained about your current work experience how you are working there how it has instilled inspiration in you to obtain a masters or phd degree then you can explain about the previous work experience then you can start explaining about your early age you can come up with your life story since your childhood now we are talking about an application in masters in data science so you can explain that since the early age you have been passionate in mathematics and that's how you got interest in statistics and that's how now you are working as a data scientist and that's why you want to take up masters in data science and engineering data science is from statistics and statistics is from the school subject which is mathematics and you can explain that you have always been interested in mathematics and physics you have taken part in several international mathematics olympiads quizzes competitions and you have obtained several achievements on national and international uh, podiums so explain your achievements in the field of mathematics and statistics you need to state facts uh, because this will also be reflected in your resume so here you are basically expanding on your resume your resume might have a section of certification achievements and that's how you are are uh, writing a story that is covering all the resume points over here you can explain about any science projects that you have taken at the school level and from the school level you can talk about your pre university education basically 11th and 12th class and after that you can explain how you got into bachelors uh, in your respective countries maybe you had a an entrance examination that is undertaken by several hundreds of thousands of students and among them you have stood out in uh, ranking of hundreds you can explain that you can explain how difficult it was for you to get into bachelors maybe you were a first generation bachelor student you can explain that you can talk about your background financially and about your previous generation how they were not they have not completed bachelors so please stick to the true story true facts do not make it up and then uh, you explain how you have completed bachelors and what your achievements were in the bachelor program you can talk about your senior project in the fourth year of your bachelors of engineering and then you can explain how you got selected into your first job after the engineering whether you got it in your third year fourth year on campus recruitment off campus recruitment how difficult it was how the company selected uh, you what they saw in you you can explain that they saw passion hard work discipline this you're talking about yourself in third person that the company selected you because of these reasons and then uh, you went into that company as a free job and then you did exceptionally well you might have been employee of the year might have achieved hikes regularly you can explain that you can talk about your certification during that phase that is related to your current intended program 
and after that if you have attained any research papers during your bachelor's or while you are working in your first job or your current job you need to explain over here and after that you can talk if you were part of any student bodies while you were doing bachelor's maybe you were part of ieee it's an institute of electrical and electronics engineer if you have done any programming competitions if you have taken part in any science projects if you have done exceptionally well you can also talk about your gpa here you can talk about gpa in uh, uh, school and also about your gpa in bachelors of engineering after that the section is interest in graduate studies so here you need to explain about your interest in masters and phd program maybe your career goal is to become a professor you need to mention that uh, a masters and phd and a specialized education and a targeted education in the field of data science will help you to achieve your ultimate goal of becoming a professor in that field and that you will go back to your country and teach the children because children are the backbone of a country or the foundation of a country you can show your passion of uh, be becoming a professor and how the graduate study will help you it will help in your career if you do not want to be a professor but be a data scientist a uh, computer scientist you can explain that how it's going to help in your career after that uh, you can explain if you want to do PhD after masters after that you also can explain what kind of coursework you want to do and uh, that you want to work with distinguished uh, researchers in a lab setup and uh, come up with innovations or state of the art solutions uh, in uh, generative AI or natural language processing or anything you can come up with your own uh, sentences that is pertaining to data science and engineering or any other program that you are intending to apply in then there is a section called as why this university now you need to cover your passion to join this university you can come up with several reasons and your understanding of the university that you are joining this university for the facilities that it has facilities in the sense uh, it has great labs it has great research body it has great uh, body of professors uh, the research groups are doing exceptionally well in the research contributions to international conferences journals patents and here there is one catch uh, you can be very specific to join a research group you can explain that there is this research group under uh, under this professor they are doing exceptionally good work and your passion and interest is in that research topic that they are pursuing you would want to join that uh, research group and do a uh, well for the university and for the research in general you can talk about that uh, particular research group but then you would be reducing the chances if the professor does not have capacity to accommodate more students more phd students or more master students so you need to be very careful uh, or you can name uh, multiple research groups in that university and how they are working in specific fields and how it is interesting to you you can talk about the facilities and the coursework that they provide you can also talk about your financial background if you are coming from a low financial background and how this university uh, giving you fully funded scholarships would really help you and if you are a first generation graduate student then you can talk about it here as well and finally there is the section of research interest you need to explain your research interest so if you are applying for phd you might already be submitting a research proposal and that would be extremely detailed now if you are applying for masters you do not have that research proposal but irrespective of your submission requirement of research proposal here i want you to explain your research interest and how do you come up with research interest is you need to read some research papers that you can download from international conferences and journals i have made a video on youtube on how to download the open 
journal and open conference papers you can watch that video you can learn how to download and how you can go about reading them and especially you need to focus on conclusion and future work where the researchers talk about the future work in that area so they would be explaining what are the shortcomings of their current research and what other researchers can do to extend this topic or how they plan to pursue this research topic so you need to take that that future work and explain in your research interest and that's how you need to come up with your research interest add one paragraph of your research interested areas and topics and finally thank the university for the opportunity to express yourself and that brings about the end of statement of purpose once again write the statement of purpose by yourself personalize it for your university personalize for the program that you are intending to apply come up with your own life story that covers all the major resume points and then you need to come up with why this university why the graduate study and what are your research interests and that completes the statement of purpose if you have any questions on the hbku application or how to go about applying to international universities in us canada or europe you can contact me i am available on linkedin i wish you all the best take care and bye bye